Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to really test for spark on any engine. If you don't have an engine that's running, for some reason you don't know what, you're going to want to check for spark. And this is the definite way to do it without, you know, going around guessing and checking ignition coils and stuff. Because as I just found out myself, I just tested the ignition coils on this and I did a secondary test um, through the spark plug wire from the wire and I got nothing. But as you're going to see here, I did actually end up getting spark. The, what really made me think of that is I pulled another set of coils off another old bike I had and I didn't also get, I also got nothing through that, through the secondary tests on them that way. And I know those coils work. So let me show you how to really, really test for spark here. I'm going to pull the spark plug out. Okay. So let's just get this spark plug out here. Uh, any spark plug. We got two coils here. So if we want to check both of them, we could uh, check for spark. I'm on the middle ones too, since that's the way they work. One coil does each outside cylinder, another does the two middles, it's a four cylinder. So once we have our spark plug out, we're gonna go ahead and plug it back in to a wire on the end here. And the trick here is to ground it, ground the body of the uh, spark plug to the engine or some other grounding point, okay? And we're gonna need to get a close up shot here. So I'm gonna crank it over and you should be able to see spark on that spark plug with it being grounded out. So unfortunately I don't really have a zoom. Oh, that's as much as this lens zooms in. So let's see here. Make sure that's nice and grounded. And I'm gonna crank it. I don't know if you can see there, but there was spark there. Um, so that's how you know you're getting spark. So let me see if I can get you a better shot of that spark. I got the camera in just a little closer. And this camera is only shooting at 24 frames per second too, so some of the sparks you might have missed. Um, they might have just not really got caught captured on this camera, but it is definitely sparking. You'll be able to see it in person. You just ground the spark plug out to the engine or whatever grounding point, and you'll get spark. So that's how that works, and that, you can definitely check for spark any which way, that way, and it works really good. And of course, if you're not actually getting spark, um, you're going to want to trace it back to the root of the pro possible problem. And on most small engines, you're looking at possibly points if you have something old you have points on it you want to look at those or cdi uh, ignition you're going to look, look at the uh pickup coils the igniter box um <clears throat> if you're looking on a car you're going to be looking at distributor uh, uh other stuff like coil packs you know depending on whatever you're looking at so you're going to want to trace it back to more of a root of the problem make sure your coils are getting power to them um, first of all, make sure it's not like some type of wiring issue. Um, and on a lot of these motorcycles too, if we're talking about motorcycles, they have uh, all kinds of switches that will disable the spark, turn off the ignition. Like this bike in particular, looking at here is a 1981 XJ750. It had a side stand switch for the kickstand, has a neutral switch, has a clutch switch has all kinds of uh even has a switch if it tips over it shuts it off which could could also be faulty so it has some of these bikes especially in the 80s and stuff even today whatever they have all kinds of safety switches that will disable ignition so you also really want to look at that type of stuff if you're if you're uh into motorcycles fixing one so hopefully i can help a little bit